Let's get ready to rumble! Daniel Jacob! Canelo! Ready, let's go. The most magnetic matchup of so two Triple G for this latest instalment. He's got a job to do and he knows how to do it. Canelo. And look how solid he looks walking forward. Paul Jacobs on his back foot straight away. He just walks forward. Pay dividend down the stretch, especially if Jacobs has been struggling. Applause and he's tried the body early. So two Jacobs there with finishing with a left hook did it slip through I'm not sure but the jab he's landed and this work now we're getting yeah. up in range to put it together journey in Guadalajara and where he's come the observers felt Jacob was hard done by that night mentally and certainly not physically in the fight with his last couple jab to the body from Alvarez just constantly got Jacobs on his back foot Felt it slightly in an uppercut answering, answering. as well stop, stop, through the stop. middle. The, I get you. With the combination is family and supporters are a lot. The mistake, Jacobs. Jacobs, you can just see that Canelo, that right hook, just whizzed over the top. Intriguing as we felt it would be. Look at that from Alvarez. The <laughs> lovely jab. Take Nick team. And such a strong one. The first round, Carl. There was absolutely nothing in it, but I like the couple of jabs he landed. I mean, Jake, when you're firing, his upper body movement has been very, very good. He's been throwing the left up and he started dropping that left up downwards. Oh! And it's the electric pace of Alvarez. He looks tight. The, the Canelo is, is just bigger and stronger. And Hands there. Nice burst. He's a late mark under that right eye. For the New Yorker that we expected. Jacobs out of range at the end, and that one straying low. Guided by Eddie Hearn at Matchroom. Knee brace on the left knee, had surgery on the right knee, and he just uh, felt he needed that. A little bit to his chin, ready for Alvarez's left hook. A terrific movement from Alvarez, who comes springing back. Like, there's an argument that that, that is correct, a correct statement. I mean, Canelo, 28 years old, Jacob. Around the back of the head. Canelo, again, leaps in with the left hook. Fought to get us just slightly. And listen to the vociferous crowd as well. To land the counter, that left hand, a sneaky shot. You don't see Jacob. But his upper torso movement is becoming much more improved. Yeah, exactly. On cue, just what you said. Alvarez is away in his... Defense has improved. It was great from Alvarez. He's just slipping and sliding and making. And that's expending energy, isn't it? Alvarez and Jacobs. Colonel, I think he's on fire. I think he's boxing a perfect fight. Way back in 2005, three months after his James Kirkland, Cotto, Amir Khan, of course, Golovkin a couple of times, Liam. Yeah, the experience when you go through the names, that boxing ability that he's got, he's not able to really get it going because. The head movement, the slipping and sliding. Coming off those three victories over Lewis Arias, Matty Zaletsky, Sergei Fletcher in New York many years ago. Alvarez again with a pin because he knows if one of them shots lands, it's going to be devastating. And Jacobs is certainly in control, looking solid. The jab sharp when he throws it. Jacobs just seems. And that's what Alvarez wants to be remembered at. Slightly low from Jacobs. He's trying desperately hard to get something going. Right now from Alvarez, last word, division. He wants Demetrius Andre as well. Gennady Golovkin to win the day here in the battle. Standing neither hurt really so far. So, but Canelo in charge, but he's not dominating. Jacobs, Canelo is going to be in front of him all night. If he doesn't meet him as he comes to throw combos, could have diligently for both styles here, Alvarez, Dave. Because it's one way traffic right now, and all you can see is as, as Jacob starts slowing down, and the right to the body as well, attempting to all ring and move. Hey, stop, stop, stop. There you go. Turn around. But Canelo's so clever with a counter, such a tough task. With the rapid fire counters, it's better from Jacobs. This it was an improvement in the in the sixth round from Daniel Jacobs. Second half, a lot of Brits have travelled over just to be here. It's a classic encounter, but 
and he needs some success from somewhere. Yeah, he's getting backed up and pushed around now by Canelo as he lands throughout the duration of his first half of the fight, other than the jab. But the one shot he's been landing a, a, a lot that's very underrated is the straight right hand to the body. You know, he's, he's, he's taking a lot out of Jacob's here. Particularly, that's been mightily impressive. Here comes Jacob, though, trying to rip it up and change things. If that means throwing five or six punches around the body, arms and head, and just, just last is a ploy from Jacobs. You know, he's, he's, he's rode out the rough patches in the first half of the fight, and maybe he'll be looking. Implement that, and if Carlo does slow down, we'll, we'll wait to see it, but... Let's have a fight, and he fancies it. Everything for you. I like the double jelly lander, I like the little combination. It's just so good. Trying to find the pressure, good counter from Landon. Yeah, the defense from Alvarez, excellent though. And back he comes. And here, front of Canelo. You can't stand there and be pondering. You have to be concentrating and looking at every counter. And Canelo was able to get now back and forth between both men. Jacobs, for the first time, able to push Canelo back, meet him in the middle. And more volume, more energy from Daniel Jacobs. Is this what the plan was to boxing from the south? Four starts again. Jacobs always. And they're trying to implement the game plan, listen to the corner, and they can feel any kind of so Jacobs needs to get himself back into this fight. Lovely left hand from Jacobs. Certainly having a fluidity that he had in the earlier rounds. They're stood in, you can hear the, you can hear the shots when they land. Nice little cheeky. Extends his jab, Alvarez. And we felt that Jacobs would do more of that. If he's going to build on the bit of success he's had in the last couple of rounds, he needs to press it home, but good work. Not a thing apart from that one, which is a lovely left hand, which Bowder, but this is far from done. An uppercut from Jacobs too. He's not throwing it out as much, he's not throwing it sharp, and he's allowing... Not been much of that this evening, but we're seeing it more often as this fight draws on. And a funny shot at the end of another round. You'd love to have a sneaky look, wouldn't one. you, Dave? I would, yeah, because you know what? I've given him the last three rounds. A fantastic duel. The part of the Mexican color, Cinco de Mayo. And they yeah, really are solid, backing up Jacobs. Combination. And if this carries on, and, body shot. Have... and a lovely combination there from Jacobs. Jacobs getting his jab going. Alvarez looking for the big left hand. Two and a half rounds. Well, he's able to sit in range now in front of Canelo without worrying about what's hurting him or hitting him. Put a combination to answer because Jacob is firing back. Alvarez full. He knows he's had some success in that last round as well. This is closing up this gap. This fight's getting more and more interesting. Suddenly looks more mobile and more powerful. Or well, they both do, don't they? Yeah, I think they both know how serious this is. And they both... With such a pack card, a mega match can be made. I'm sure fighting each other. You've got out. Jacob. It, it needs to, you know, it needs to get going on a build up behind the jab. A cluster from Jacobs, but not really getting through. Eddie Hearn. Whether that's fair or not, it's close, subjective. It's on Jacobs to make sure from Alvarez, who's picked himself back up in the 11th. Here comes Jacobs again, but and now he's having a look, he's closing that distance. He needs to start working now, but Canelo, very Jacobs still pressing forward. Some block there. Will this be catching the eye of the judges? He was too quiet. He needs to get a grip of the fight and I really think that go was his plan. It. I think he, he did that on purpose, but it can be dangerous. Alvarez here, when Jacob seems to be gathering momentum. Very tight. Jacob believes he won that one. And then Alvarez, Thank a you. big favourite beforehand. I want you to focus. How was that last round? Regresa rápido. Si vas a combinar, combinas y regresa rápido tu guardia. Okay? Thank you. Regresa rápido. Si vas a combinar, combinas y regresa rápido tu guardia. Okay? As expected, and here we go into the 12th and final round of the fight. Jacobs back. Alvarez showing a good chin. A slip there from Jacobs. Yes. Yeah. One man more, Marquez. He's got it very close. I think you know that. That's the general feeling, Carl. That is at present. Anything drawn. 
and, and tight decisions and, and arguable decisions between all three of them. Back to Orthodox, backing up Alvarez. And Golovkin, like with Golovkin and Jacobs, they can do this all over again, these two. I like the way he's putting it. I agree with that, but the work rate that's come back in the latter part of this fight that was there for the first half. You know they're both going to embrace, they're both going to celebrate. Last, last few seconds, what's the reaction going to be from the Jacobs up on the other side? Both believe from the Jacobs camp about them, all the Canelos. A lot of those clean shots did get through from Alvarez, especially with the jab. I did say I worry about Canelo because he always seems to tire as, as we go on in the round. And, and again, today, he, he, he... Um, But, you know, there's, if you've got to pick a winner, I think you've got to go with Canelo. Dave Moretti and Steve Weissfeld both have it. 115, 113. Canelo!